room and get to all that I will that watching our videos right now. My name is Sophia Aisha Bente Avulo. I'm from the MT 4A. My music number is 10 the MT 18F 2002. This video, my friends and I will show you guys our presentation slides for our mini project under communicative English 3 subject. Our slides is a result based on our recent investigation on PSP student, which is the topic is about an investigation on PSP student certification certification on PSP hostel. So enjoy. For you guys information, the hostel is not a hotel where students abroad and watch around much. It is in turn a home away from home for students with an academic atmosphere where the inmates live as one community, one community devoted to learning. So in this video, we will present and show you guys, explain to you guys about our recent investigation. So you guys know we were investigated among BSP students. So I'm going to tell you a little about um, Sibran Pry Polytechnic, which is the words with BSP. My name is Siti Nadawiyah Windu Maknaseh. My metric number is 10 dmt 18 f 2001 Okay, today uh, I will explain about objective and methodology for our mini project. Okay, first, uh, to the objective is to investigate whether the facilities in the hostel are secure or not. Okay, because as we know, every student have to pay the dormitory fees, right? Okay, for all dormitory, uh, we have to pay RM sixty ringgit. Uh, which is Gemi, uh, Nurani and Bestari. Okay, for new dormitory, uh, the fees is RM uh, 630 uh, for one semester. So clear that uh, they not stay for free uh, at the hostel. That's why we have to make sure uh, the facility in the hostel are secure to the student. Okay, next to find out new suggestion. Uh, like we can improve uh, our facility at the hostel uh, whether the uh, old dormitory or new dormitory okay uh, like we can add on some uh, coway for at uh, at each level uh, and we can we also can upgrade uh, the wi-fi maybe because uh, now we on the new normal uh, because of the COVID-19 so um, majority uh, our PDP uh, through the online online class so our student have to uh, have to use the Wi-Fi connection about the objective okay now we we go to the methodology okay at the methodology, the point we have survey question, uh, 52 respondent and all department. Okay. Chene will distribute into uh, the student from four department, uh, which was uh, commerce department, uh, mechanical department, uh, electrical department, uh, information, information and communication technology department. Okay, section divide into two sections. Section A, uh, for demographic of respondents such as gender, semester, uh, department, and the hostel student live in now, which, which was uh, Nurani, uh, Bestari, Gamilang, and Madani. For the section B, uh, ten questions were provided uh, about the student certification on uh, PSP hostel. All data collection was anonymous uh, to our member group. Everyone, Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Shasha Kamarina binti Saiful Zaman from DMT4A. My metric number is 10DMT18F2002. So today, I will present 
for our English mini project which is an investigation on PSP student satisfaction on Polytechnic Sebran Perai Hostel. So you guys enjoy this! In part A, I will explain what we got in our findings. As shown in table 2.1, the survey form was distributed to 52 students from 4 main departments, which is Mechanical Departments, Electrical Departments, Commerce Departments, and Information Communication Technology Departments. First, the respondents were identified based on their gender. So, we got 13 male students or 25%. And 39 female students or 75% responded to the survey. Second, the information on respondent semester was collected from semester. We take just until semester 5. Semester 5 was the highest uh, number of students with 16 numbers of students. This was followed by semester 4, 12 students, semester 1, 11 students, semester three nine students and the lowest number of students by semester is semester two which is just four students participate in the study so next we move to department here the highest numbers of students from department was commons department with 28 students and Mechanical departments was 16 students for electrical department and information communication technology department is 4 students for each department. Finally, the data on the respondents were graduates. So, in our survey, just 4 blocks with which is Madani, Gemila, Nurani and Basari. So the highest number of respondents from block is Basari block with 19 students and the lowest students from block which is Gemilan blocks with 3 students. So we move to part B. This is our first question in our investigations. We use bar graph to explain our data. This figure one shows the cleanliness of dumb windows and floor in Sebram Pri Polytechnic Hostel. Uh, this bar graph was divided to five columns, which were strongly disagree, disagree, neutral agree and strongly agree the student who respond neutral was drastically higher than strongly disagree the respondent who respond agree slightly lower than neutral this is our second question in our investigation the bar graph above shows the level of certification ventilation system in the dorm the x axis represent for score scale meanwhile the y axis represent for number of respondents there are five scale states in the graph which were strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, strongly agree, and agree. It is clear from the graph that the most of re respondents vote neutral on the ventilation system in the dorm, which accounted 22 respondents of the total. Meanwhile, the respondents that vote strongly agree was significantly lower than respondent who vote for agree. The lowest vote was strongly disagree, which was dramatically lower than neutral with a difference of 21 respondents. This is our third question in our investigation. This figure 3 shows the, the arrangements of dumbbells and cardboards. The bar graph divide into five columns. This is 
strongly disagree blue disagree purple neutral red agree yellow strongly agree student who respond agree was a little higher than strongly agree with a difference of five respondents respondents who responded neutral was dramatically higher than disagree thank you figure four shows the condition of furniture in the dorm okay uh X as this represent uh, about the school scale uh, where we have uh, strongly disagree, disagree, uh, neutral, uh, strongly agree, and agree. Okay. While the Y as this represent the number of respondent. Okay, as you can see, the student who respond the neutral was fractionally higher, fractionally higher. They strongly agree. Okay, next. Okay, next. A uh, respondent who respond agree was slightly lower than neutral. Okay, the pie chart uh, shows the uh, congestion problem in toilets. Uh, which to segment? Uh, yes and no. Okay. Uh, red. Uh, the the red one is for yes and the purple for no. Let's see to the red one first. Over than a half of respondent, uh, respondent answer, answer yes with uh, 57.17%. That means uh, many respondent vote uh, that the toilet they daily use uh, don't have uh, congestion problem. Okay, then more than a third of respondent vote no for the problem. Everyone, my name is Priscilla Prema Dolcroft Williams from DMT 4A and my metric card number is 10 DMT 18F 2005. My group decided to talk about uh, the satisfactions of hostel management in Polytechnic Subramurai among all the occupants in the hostel. Today, I'm just going to cover up two, which one is like six and also seven. Okay, firstly, the bar chart that I'm going to show is this. Yes, number six, which is known as the number of toilets that can be used. Okay, the bar chart shows the number of toilets that can be used in Polytechnic Sabrang Pry Hostel. The x-axis represents the uh, number of toilets that can be used while the y axis represents the number of respondents. It is clear that from the graph, the most number of respondents were that only two bathrooms that can be used, while which is high, drastically higher than the five in their level. Last but not least, the lowest number of toilets that voted has actually one which has a zero respondents and which is drastically lower than the other three other uh, the other three toilets which has 13 respondents okay now we're just going to talk about the bar chart 7 which is shows the type of solutions that can be resolved to problems in dorm block toilets in polytechnic serum right Okay, you can see the bar graph over here and the x axis represent the suggestions by the y axis represents the number of respondents. Okay, the bar graph divided into three types of columns which is three solutions uh, which is complained to the authorities and a second one is ensured by the head of the uh, level and also the third one is collect money from all the occupants to resolve the problems. We can see in this bar chart, we can clearly say the highest number of respondents say complaining to the authority is the best idea to resolve the problems in dorm block toilets in Polytechnic Sebrang Pride, which has 34 respondents, while it is, it is actually the drastically higher compared to the other choice, which is uh, collecting money from the, all the occupants, which has, which has uh, 11 respondents only. 
why we can also notice that the number of respondents say and showed by the head cut of the levels which has 23 respondents is significantly lower compared to the complaint to the um, authority which has 34 respondents head cut of the levels which has 23 respondents is significantly lower compared to the complaint to the um, authority which has 34 respondents Shows about the things we are going to clean by the cleaners. And this, um, this question only has two answers choice, which is which is yes and no. From the chart, we can see that majority of teachers and the students respond yes, which is um, 94 percent, well, less than a tenth. Thank you. 
I'm just going to say about the conclusions of the mini project that has been done and uh, after the studies had done be among all the PSP students about the hostel management, we can conclude that majority of them stayed in hostel for several reasons. We can conclude the larger number of students agreed that they satisfied with the hostel management. And also, students prefer to stay in hostel compared to, to being in home because it's more convenient. It's also economically a better choice for those who are um, not the stable to afford to stay in outside the campus or uh, those parents are not can't afford that much to pay rental for for higher in a in a higher price they prefer to be in hostel and also a lot in a lot of factors hostel to be in the best place compared to staying in outside of the campus because it has like a lot more facilities than the rental house outside the campus Last but not least, I hope the results of these studies may help to improve the facilities and also the needs of the occupants of the in the uh, hostel of Sebrang Pri Polytechnic. And okay, the last but not least of this survey is actually the recommendation part. Okay, uh, based on the studies, a uh, recommendation is very very important inside of the studies because it helps the hostel management or the uh, hostel service management to help and improve the um, facilities and also the needs from the equipment uh, to improve uh, in the future so that students are more satisfied in the hostel services so let's jump into it and first of all and majorly uh, hostel provide the best atmospheres for studies to students and also teaches them a sense of responsibility uh, for their needs and also like um, without the help of others so basically the better the hostel environment uh, the better the students mental and also physical health uh, to have flying colors in the examination so hostels uh, plays a biggest major a role in the a routine of the students those who are accommodate in the hostel because the the situation creates a um, a surrounding which is in a positive vibe so students can really uh, have fun and also like calm to, to really um, focus in their studies much more better and clearer vision in a in a clearer vision first recommendation that I've given by the students from the survey is actually to uh, the hostel management should improve and all those laundry services in each floor by like uh, increasing the number of laundry machines in each and every block or in you know, every uh, floor as well so that the students don't need to um, hustle and bustle to clean up their clothes and they are do, do their laundries because like a lot of students be waiting uh, in a long queue to just to need to done their laundries so it be like a very good move to an uh, help the students uh, secondly uh, to improve and also the increase the number of um, a number of coffee water purifier in every single floor because like basically there's only like two or three uh water purif kobe water purifier in every block so it's, it's like quite a struggle for students to fill up your water each and every time because there's like a long queue to wait and there'll be like so much of time will be saving if there's like a lot more water purifier in every each floor so it'd be like very helpful to the students and thirdly um um, the hostel management also should be more aware of the cleanliness of the block for a better surrounding uh, purpose for the occupants by frequently clean the bins regularly and also they assist the students to do any other recycling activities or in the block to reduce the amount of wasters in each and every day. So bye. Thank you. That is all from us. It's from DMT for A, and hope you like it and uh, enjoy the video as much as we do. And also a special and um, uh, thank you 
to our lecturer Miss Sabaria to really assist us to and push us to have the uh, to have the better marks in and also to like uh, really um, improve our assignments as well and also uh, that is all from us thank you peace